Hello and welcome to The Range. When I made the decision to go to The Range for the first time several years ago, I know I was a bit anxious. I have guy friends, girlfriends, and even family members who all had a stressful experience during their first time at The Range. And it's common because unless you've watched a good amount of YouTube videos beforehand, none of us really knew what we were walking into. On behalf of the National Shooting Sports Foundation, we want to ensure you enjoy your experience and even more importantly, know how to be safe while on the range. Are you ready? Let's go. When you walk in, don't be intimidated. We've all had our first time. You can expect to see range safety officers clearing guns before entering the actual shooting area. And all ranges are different and have different rules, so be sure to read them thoroughly. If you don't see range rules posted, please ask for a copy. And if you have any questions, please ask now, as it's easier here than in a noisy range. And the first rule you should know is to always keep the gun pointed in a safe direction. Safe direction means don't point the gun at anything you don't wish to shoot. Second rule is to always keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. Not ready to shoot means your sights are lined up and you're ready for the gun to go off. Our third rule is to always keep the gun unloaded until you're ready to shoot. Unloaded means completely unloaded. There is nothing in the magazine. The magazine is out of the gun and there's nothing in the chamber and there's nothing in the cylinder. And if you're renting a gun from us and you're not familiar with it or you're not familiar with your own gun, please ask for help. We'll be happy to give you assistance. So let's go and review some of the other range rules. Depending on the range, rules are posted in various locations. All ranges should require both ear and eye protection to be worn at the range at all times. And for additional protection, we recommend both earplugs and earmuffs. And while on the range, make sure the people around you are wearing their ear and eye protection. It's everyone's responsibility. Either the front desk or your range safety officer will tell you where to shoot. So come on, let's have some fun. Well, this is a hot range, so when you walk in, you should expect people to be shooting. When we uncase a firearm, the first thing you want to do is check which way to see the firearm is pointed. In this case, it's actually not pointed downrange, so I'm going to take an opportunity now to turn the entire basket around. So I haven't actually touched the firearm, but it's now pointed downrange. I'm going to take the gun out of the bag with the muzzle pointed downrange and keep my finger off the trigger. In this case, the first thing I'm going to do is take the magazine out since it's a semi-automatic then lock the slide back if it's not already. I'm going to check in the magazine well and in the chamber itself to make sure nothing is in there. Now, when setting the gun on the bench, be sure to keep the barrel pointed downrange with the ejection port up and the slide is locked back. Now let's go over the same thing with the revolver. Make sure it's pointed in a safe direction. I'm going to pull it out with my finger off the trigger. Now I'm going to press the cylinder release button, make sure that it's empty, and I'm going to put it on the table with the cylinder out and the barrel facing downrange and we'll be ready to go. Now, one thing to remember is whenever we're checking or changing targets or whenever we're changing shooters, we always want the gun completely unloaded. Never leave a loaded gun sitting on the bench by itself. At indoor ranges, we're a little spoiled because there should never be a reason to go past the firing line. The target system itself takes a target up and back for you. Outdoor ranges are completely different. In an outdoor range, the range safety officer has to call a ceasefire. You have to hear their instructions before you're allowed to go out downrange and check your target. Back here at the range, when it's time to replace your target, remember to keep it centered left to right and at eye level. That way you won't shoot at the floor, the ceiling, or at your neighbor's target. And when unloading or reloading your firearm, remember to keep your gun pointed directly downrange. Directly downrange means parallel to the floor and parallel to the walls. Shooting with your friends and sharing your firearms with them is one of the most fun things to do with the range. Before we change shooters, I'm going to actually make sure the gun is fully unloaded with the action open and I'm going to keep the ejection port straight up. Then I'm going to fully step out of the booth and let my friend step in. I have some really nice shooting. Can I give it a try? Thanks, give it a shot. All right, let's do it. Cease fire, cease fire. When you hear a ceasefire, stop shooting immediately, take your finger off the trigger, bring your elbows down to your side while keeping the muzzle pointed downrange, and then wait for instructions from your range safety officer. 
Clear your firearms, make them safe. Put them down and step away from the firing line. In this case, the range safety officer called the ceasefire, but remember everyone on the firing range is a safety officer. So if you see anything dangerous that you don't feel comfortable with, call a ceasefire, your range safety officer will take it from there. There are many different reasons to call a ceasefire. Just remember you can call a ceasefire if you see anything dangerous or see something that's a bit off. For instance, somebody drops something over the firing line and goes to retrieve it, ceasefire. Immediately call a ceasefire, then wait for the range safety officer to come in and sort it out. What are some other reasons you might call a ceasefire? What happens if someone drops their gun? Call a ceasefire. What happens if somebody's crossing the firing line for any other reason? Call a ceasefire. What happens if they're pointing the gun in an unsafe direction? Definitely call a ceasefire. Remember, everyone on the range is a safety officer. The range is hot. You can now commence firing. When preparing to leave the range, be sure to follow all the safety rules that we've discussed. First, with your finger off the trigger and the barrel pointed down range, unload your firearm by removing the magazine, lock the slide to the rear, and be sure to check that the chamber is clear. Now you're ready to put your firearm in your basket, case, or bag. Now you're ready to exit the range. Do not remove your eye and ear protection until you've completely exited the area. Just because you're done shooting doesn't mean that everyone else is. Courtesy and common sense go a long way on the range. Perhaps you'll make a new friend or two. Here are a few more important tips that can help ensure you have a safe and enjoyable time. Never touch a firearm for any reason if someone's forward of the firing line. Be sure you're shooting at your own target. Always walk around someone else's equipment. Never step over it. Never touch someone else's equipment without their permission. Be mindful of where your ejected shell casings are landing. Wear appropriate shoes and attire to keep your hot shell casings out of your clothes and shoes when handling a loaded firearm. If in doubt, ask. Shooters and range operators are some of the friendliest people you can meet. They'll be happy to lend a hand. Introduce yourself to your neighbors. The people shooting next to you may become your next shooting partner. I want to welcome you to the range and hope you have a great time. Target shooting can be very exciting, especially when you hit the target for the first time. But be sure to remember the three safety rules. Always keep the muzzle pointed in a safe direction. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. And always keep the gun unloaded until you're ready to use it. That means make sure it's unloaded with the action open whenever it's on the table or you finished using it. Always take firearm safety seriously at the range, during transport, and at home. And always remember, firearm safety depends on you.